The best way to get consistent traffic to your website is through SEO. But if you don't know SEO, what should you do? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna teach you how to do SEO. The first thing you need to do is practice. Practice makes perfect. If you don't practice, how are you ever gonna get good at something or even learn something? You don't wanna practice on your main business or your main idea. Create a junk website, one that's gonna be fun and that you can be excited about. It could be a blog. So go to WordPress and create a WordPress blog. You wanna do it on your own domain name. Don't do wordpress.com, do wordpress.org. And if you're not sure on how to set it up, just sign up for HostGator or Bluehost. They have a one-click install for WordPress. Now that you have your website set up, you need to start blogging. Pick any topic that interests you, write content. Now that you got the content done, the next thing you wanna do is install the Yoast SEO plugin. The Yoast SEO plugin is a shortcut. It makes your blog optimized somewhat for Google. It actually makes it really optimized from Google, but of course you're gonna to have to do some work by putting in the keywords in your title tag, your meta description. There's walkthrough tutorials on how to use the Yoast plugin and just go through them and you'll be fine. After you have the Yoast plugin up and running, the next thing I want you to do is cross-link your blog posts together. So let's say you have two posts, one's on dogs and one's on cats. And in your dog article, you talk about how dogs hate cats. Well, you can link to the cats article from that dog one. And in your cats article, you can talk about how cats love pestering dogs. You can link that cats article to the dog article. That's what cross-linking is. You don't wanna just cross-link two posts together, you wanna to cross-link all your relevant posts together when it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't link them together. And last but not least, you wanna start building links. The way you build links is you go to hrefs.com, A-H-R-E-F-S.com, put in a competitor URL, you'll see who links to them, and then you wanna email these guys, right? You go to those sites who link to your competitors and you say, hey, I noticed that you're linking to xyandz.com. We have a similar business within the same region, but we also offer one, two, and three services that they don't, so you should also check us out. It may be useful to your website visitors, and if you like us, feel free to link to us. Cheers, Neil, it's that simple. Sure, a lot of people are gonna ignore your email, but if you get five out of 100 people to link back to you, that's great. That's how you get your start in SEO. You do those steps, over time you'll get more traffic, and then after you learn those basics and you get the hang of it, if you wanna do some experimentation, by all means, go and do a ton of experimentation. Cause SEO is way more advanced than that and complex, but you gotta start off with the basics. And that's how you learn the basics, it's by doing it on your own website.